Hello everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Bree and I have a whip and chat for you. Alright, so today is September 27th. It is Wednesday for me. It's this video is going up on Thursday. Typically I do whipping chats on Tuesday. Wait, what day is it? It is Wednesday because my wife is home and she works from home on Wednesdays. Typically I, um, okay. So I have a whipping chat for you today. Um, today is Wednesday, September 28th. 7th, I believe. Um, so typically I film whip and chats on Tuesdays and I have them go up on Wednesdays, but I didn't get around to filming yesterday. And also this whip and chat is like very long overdue. I have not put a whip and chat up in quite a while. If you are not new to my channel, you know I have kind of been just not around for a little bit and we'll get into that in a little while. I'm not going to get super personal because while I am very open and honest and transparent with all of you, there are some things that just remain, you know, somewhat personal as you may know. Um, channel members do get a little bit of a sneak peek into a little bit more personal stuff, but there's still some things that, you know, I keep to myself. <laughs> um, so anyways, I am working on the kit Carnival by, I'm not going to be able to say her name, her last name correctly. Um, Maria Chad Car Carver, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to the artist, Maria Chad Carriva. Um, this is a kit by Oraloa. When this was, um, when this first came out, I was like, yes, I need to have it. I love it. It is beautiful. I will put a little picture up in the corner somewhere if I can remember. It's been a long time since I did a whip and chat so hopefully I can remember how how to do these things. <laughs> um, so I started to do these little um, boxes. I saw someone using them and I was like I'm gonna give it a try. So I made them myself I mean, I'm not saying that I created it. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that I saw somebody else using it and asked like what it was and I in it's vinyl and I have a cutting machine and I have vinyl, so I was like, "Well, I'm just going to make it myself for my I have vinyl and I have a cutting machine, so I'll make one for myself and see how I like it. So that's what I mean. I did not come up with this. This is not my idea. I just, I just took the idea and made it for myself. I'm not selling these. I am, I'm just using it. <laughs> um, and I kind of like it. It is difficult, I will say it is difficult to lay it down on the canvas, I will say that. Um, but I, I do like how it looks. Anyways, let's pick a color. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the AB first. You, I usually don't, but I have some old putty in my pen right now so that'll be fine. This is going to be somewhat of a long whip and chat. I hope you are okay with that. If not, then click off at any time you want. 
I will not be offended at all. My um, channel is a hobby. Um, I'm not here to, I, I'm not a YouTuber to, like, this is not replacing my job. <laughs> I'm here for friendship and entertainment purposes. Okay, so I gotta cut some of this glue off of here. All right, so where have I been? I have a note. I'm gonna just, whoop. I have a big notebook. Like, I'm gonna show you. It's one of these types of notebooks. And it. I have a page front and back of like everything I wanted to talk about in this whip and chat. Um, and I'm not sure if we're going to get through everything. I'm going to try to make this whip and chat an hour long, but I'm going to tell you right now and I'm going to put it in the um, description or like the title of the video that, um, you know, this is going to be kind of like a trigger warning. I'm going to talk about depression, um, because that is why I have been gone for as long as I've been gone. I don't know when my last like whip and chat has gone up, honestly. Um, I could go back and look, I, I suppose. Um, but I haven't. <laughs> um, oh yeah, usually I, t I start out by telling you like the items that I'm using today in my for my whip and chat so let's do that um i am using oops, my oh my gosh i can get this drill back in this thing i am using um this beautiful pen from butterfly effect wears if you know, you know. I love butterfly effect wares for my pens, and my favorite size is the mini, the mini regular to be exact. I have an entire container full of this size in all different colors, um, but this is the most recent one that I've gotten. And then um, I do have, excuse me, the yawning has begun. <laughs> Um, I do have a Diamond Art Club single metal placer on the side, and then I just have a regular six placer, metal six, metal six placer on this side. I do have the Diamond Art Club metal, metal multi-placers. I'm going to be honest, I think I'm in the majority here, but I am not the biggest fan of them. I've, I've used them quite a few times. Um, I just swapped this one out. Um, I was using it last night when I was diamond painting. I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> I was using it last night, but I don't know what it is about it. It just feels very unstable to me. I don't, I will say the plus side to it, it, um, it does line them up almost perfectly, but I'm a very hard presser and I don't know. It just feels like it's going to break. <laughs> so I really appreciate this like wide part right here. I don't know what it is about this, but when I go to press down to put putty in it, it feels like it's going to break on me. So I don't know. I, I haven't, I haven't 100% given up on it, but I still think I prefer these ones <laughs> to be honest. Okay, and then my tray is the, um, oh my god, there's cat hair everywhere. My tray is the um, Bijou Bliss tray in the size narrow. I do have their regular size, but I'm going to be honest, I don't care for their regular size. It's just too wide for my hand, but then I got the narrow one, and it's perfect. Um, this is the Drills and Chills 
that they have and I just love this little kitty with the moon it's so pretty and the color is like this beautiful like color shift it's so pretty and then I just ordered some mini ones from them because I think I'm gonna really enjoy the mini trays that they have as well so I can't wait to get the mini trays um, from them as well I'm almost tempted like I just ordered them yesterday and I'm tempted to order a couple more in a couple different colors and just ask them can you please um, add them to my other order <laughs> I don't think she would mind but you never know anyways um, okay and then the tray that I have here is a tray that I made for Halloween and I put like a little kitty right there I don't know if you can see it I was going to bring these to the shop, but I don't know if people would want these. If you are interested in a tray like this, let me know down in the comments. And maybe I'll make a few and bring them to the shop. And then that's all. That's all the accessories. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the main thing. Churro putty. These are available for Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, churro putty and Mexican hot chocolate the, the yawning there's an explanation for the yawning I am so sorry um, the churro putty it smells delicious it honestly it makes me really upset because it it smells so good that it makes me want to eat one and I don't have any churros to eat <laughs> okay so back to diamond painting and talking about where I've been and why I haven't been whipping and chatting. <laughs> okay, I did not kit up this kit in my normal fashion. If you, um, if you are not new, then you know that I kit up in rainbow order. If you are new around here, then I normally kit up in rainbow order. It just makes it my it makes my brain happy. And for um for me to find a color, it's very easy. Like these blues, I could go straight to the blues and find the the code a lot easier. But I did not do that this time. I just kit it up in the order that the drills were in and it takes me forever to find the the symbol and I really don't like it so even I'm even though I'm this far into the kit I still can't find the symbols and there's cat hair everywhere <laughs> okay I'm gonna pause the video because it really will take me forever to find the symbol Okay, I found it like almost immediately after I paused. <laughs> so, okay, um, I'm going to start talking about why I was gone for quite a while. Um, this is the part where I'm going to start talking about um, mental health and depression. If you do not want to hear about this, um, then you can go ahead and click off or skip ahead. I will try to find where to skip ahead to, um, but I'm going to be honest, I'm really bad about um, adding that kind of stuff into my videos, so um, I do apologize. But if you don't want to hear about any kind of mental health issues or depression issues, go ahead and click off. I will not be offended whatsoever. If you don't mind and you do want to hear about um, where I've been and what's been going on, um, then I appreciate it. <laughs> I will try not to make it too, like, woo is me. Um, so... Yeah, let me, let me get my notes. Okay, so um, if I am talking a little bit low, it is because my wife is home from work and I still get really self-conscious that she's, like she can hear me talking basically to myself even though I'm talking to an audience, <laughs> to my friends, to my subscribers. 
All right, sorry about the pause. Um, as I was talking about my wife, she ended up coming in here and needing something. Ernie's in here, by the way. Ernie's one of my dogs. Um, okay, so. Um, I work in a emergency veterinary, emer yes, I work in emergency veterinary medicine um, and I work in a, I'm really sorry about all the jump cuts. Um, the dogs are <laughs> acting up. So anyways, I, I'm working, I have been working a lot and, um, also work has been a little bit stressful, um, to the point where, um, it's giving me anxiety to like get the courage up to go to work and I have felt like this once before and it got to the point where I needed to go on FMLA and I was off of work for about six to eight weeks um, and it wasn't a good time like it wasn't a vacation from work or anything like that um, and I don't want that to happen again. So work has been very stressful and, um, and I just feel, I don't know, it's just, it's just been very like depressing. Um, but I started talking to my boss I just let her know instead of like building everything up and just trying to like deal with it inside um, I talked to my boss who is normally very understanding and compassionate and I usually feel very heard at work and everything and I still do um, and I think my boss like handled it well from what I can tell um, I don't know exactly what transpired from from everything but um, things seem to be better and that makes me feel better and I don't feel so overwhelmed like when I have to go to work in the morning and I don't feel like well what's this day gonna be like um, and that, that just makes me feel a little bit better. Um, not that saying, I mean, I don't feel like, yay, all my problems are solved and depression is gone. It doesn't work like that. But that anxiety has somewhat been relieved in a way, which is good. Um, and then while I was dealing with that, um, so, sorry to pause, <clears throat> I was reading my notes and I want to get a drink, hold on. <laughs> So I think that whole thing with work is what really triggered my stress and depression. And then I had a situation with DAC and I'm not 100% sure if I'm ready to talk about it yet, but I will say that they treated me unfairly. And I'm still really hurt and upset by it. Um, that situation really added to my depression. Um, and I let them know that it did. And I told them in an email, like, I use diamond painting as a way to cope with 
depression and my severe anxiety and what you are all doing to me is very unfair and I know that's very vague of me to say in a video because I'm not giving any contacts of what happened and like I said I don't know if I'm really ready to talk about it because it's still really upsetting to me but um it I did let them know that you know it will they they upset me um and just kind of talking about that right now is a little triggering So that situation really added to my depression and it really made me not want to pick up a diamond painting pen and it made me not want to diamond paint at all. It didn't want, I didn't want to come on to YouTube and talk about diamond painting. I didn't want to go live and pretend that everything was okay and I didn't feel like I could just straight away talk about what was going on because I didn't want to say something out of line and I didn't want to say anything that would hurt me later down in the on the later down on the road is that the is that the way you say that? I'm, I don't know. The the, that entire situation just made me really feel blank, if that makes sense. I just kind of sat there on my bed and was like, what the F? I can't believe what just happened happened. At the same time, Oraloa reached out to me and invited me to be a sneak peek person and, um, to be like a brand ambassador and that made me very happy um, I was just I don't know I, I, I still don't know how to f feel I mean I, I love that Oraloa reached out to me. I have been doing um, unboxings and stuff for Oraloa for a while, and then to now um, do sneak peeks for them. I feel very fortunate. And the kits that they send me are amazing and so beautiful. Um, all while this was going on, I continued to keep in touch with friends and I continued to go to work and at the same time, I was just like looking forward to when I could come home and get in bed and when could I go to sleep. And then I just realized like, that's not, <laughs> that's not okay. Yeah. Um, I kept up with the shop, but I'm not sure how, because I honestly just don't know how. Um, I don't remember.
Sorry with all the tap, tap, tapping. Gotta put these drills back. I wanted to diamond paint because I was on Instagram constantly doom scrolling as what is what they call it now <laughs> um I was watching people diamond paint and I was like oh I want to diamond paint and like I felt like I wanted to diamond paint but I was just like I can't get out of bed I just feel like I couldn't physically I felt like I wasn't capable of getting out of bed If you know what that feels like, then you know what I'm talking about. And it sucks so much. And all the while, like, I message my doctor, like, and then she's out of the office until October 2nd. Somebody's monitoring her emails and stuff, and they're like, oh, she'll consult with you when she gets back, is the response that I get. And that's just... I don't want to sound selfish or anything, and I'm like, this, that doesn't help me right now. <laughs> I have to... At that point, I was like, I have to wait a month... And then, if you know, I have fibromyalgia, stress contributes to your pain. So I'm constantly fighting being in pain at the same time. I'm literally in tears because I'm depressed and I'm painful. Chronic pain is terrible and then I ran out of pain medication and I don't want to see my neurologist anymore because all she is doing is like increasing my one pain medication and I don't know if it's actually helping me but then I ran out of it and I'm really painful so then I'm like well maybe it is helping me I know this video is very like down in the dumps but This is where I've been for the past, like, two months. Um, I'll get to where I am now in a little bit. Um, so, fast forward a little bit. I'm starting to feel better. Um, not too long ago, I don't... I have no concept of time, to be honest. Um, so, uh, not too long ago, I made a comment on somebody's Instagram. And it was um, about a product that some other small shop had obviously... Um, copied tweaked the design but you know they took the idea from the original creator and tweaked the design to fit them um and I made a comment about it and I was like Oh, hey, I seen 
another small shop came out with this design a couple months ago. And then that was it. And then that shop owner, three days later, came came for me in my own DMs and, and Instagram. Like, an entire three days later. I distinctly remember it was three days later. And I remember one of the comments, one of the things in the comments was, please be kinder to our community. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> Obviously, I struck a nerve because this person, I mean, this person sent me three very long paragraphs and would have continued to do so had I not blocked them. And the reason for the block, I will tell you in just a moment. Um, but I don't even remember the majority of the what this person said in those three paragraphs because it doesn't even matter. I don't think I even read most of it because it's all basically claiming that they're a victim because that's what that person normally does is claim that they're a victim in my opinion remember this is my video and my opinions and my opinions are just that you don't have to agree and if you don't agree then that's fine we can have respectful comments down below but I'm not here to have any fighting words with anybody and this is why I almost quit YouTube and almost quit diamond painting because of people like that if you don't know me well enough to have my phone number or know me personally then you don't know me well enough to come after me like that and the reason for the blocking is I am kind to people and I don't I shouldn't have to say that because I, I just shouldn't maybe that's a reminder to that person that they need to be kinder because you took three days to message somebody about a comment that they left on somebody else's Instagram so That just says a lot about that person, and that's just very sad. And while I am going through some hard stuff and some real life 
crap. I definitely won't be ever buying from that company. Ever. And I wouldn't recommend them. You may fool a lot of people by your lies and everything and you're saying that you're the victim but people that are smart enough will see right through that because I saw right through it. And I don't have time to go back and forth about something that you copied from another small shop. And one of my friends told me a long time ago that there's a saying that if you have to say the thing, then you are the thing. And at first, I didn't really understand that saying, but really think about it. Like if you... You have, and maybe it didn't make sense to me because I've never had to, like, justify something because I've never lied about something or I never had to defend something so small and go after and be like, yes, that's mine, that I did that. But after I really thought about it, I was like, oh my god, that makes total sense now. So really think about that. So, end <laughs> sad rant where I've been, what I've been up to, and now, where I'm at now, and where I'm going. I did a jump cut here to try to <laughs> remind me to tell people, like, this is where it starts, where things are going from here, and it's not about sadness and depression anymore. <laughs> so, um, I'm doing better now. Um, there's a Taylor Swift song and I know Laura, my friend Laura, she hates Taylor Swift, but she still loves me <laughs> and I love her for that. But there is a Taylor Swift song and what, it has one of the best lines ever and the opening line of this song is I'm doing good I'm on some new shit and I just love that song and if you want to know what song it is um let me look it up really quick it's called The One and I think it's on Folklore but you can look it up it's, it's called The One and I can't obviously play it for you because it's copyrighted but just listen to the words. I listen to that and like that's my jam right now and I just I just love it. But I just yeah, I just I know Laura won't listen to it because she has a hatred for T Swift. <laughs> but the words to that song are really good. And I loved seeing her play that at the concert. 
it was it was good um so yes i'm doing better now um i'm not on any new shit but i'm hoping i will be once i get to see my doctor again she comes back to the office on october 2nd and i have an appointment on october 3rd that was not <laughs> that was arranged before her like weird go away thing i don't i don't know where she went i don't know if she had a procedure done i don't know if she went on vacay i don't i really don't know but that appointment was pre-scheduled before she went away so it just seems like i'm a crazy doctor's patient like oh my god where's my doctor i gotta see her as soon as she gets back i'm not one of those people but it seems like i am but i already have a list of everything that i need to talk to her about and i'm hoping that i can get on a different medication because my fibromyalgia is just kind of out of control right now and i'm hoping that i can either get a new doctor to control my fibro or i'm hoping that my internal medicine doctor can just control like be in management of it herself so i don't have to see another new doctor because honestly my neurologist like i don't want to keep paying a neurologist for just a for a prescription increase every three months <laughs> you know what I mean it's just crazy so um yeah so I'm filming this whip and chat the first one in I don't know how long um I don't know what is next I'm gonna be honest and I don't want to put that pressure on myself I don't want to say like hey this is what's going to be coming next because what if I don't do that next um, so I'm starting with this. Oh, shoot. I just put that down like, hey, I just lay it here. It didn't even go right there. It just, I mean, it kind of did, but not really. Why did I do that? If you did stay and listen to my entire story, thank you so much. That really means a lot to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, put some, um, I don't know, put some, uh, put some rainbows down in the comments because, I don't know, that just came to my mind first. <laughs> Man, I did not check to see if this microphone was recording or not, so I really hope it was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um I hope you will uh stick around for whatever does come next. Um if you're already subscribed, thank you, or please subscribe if you haven't already. I am always very open, transparent, and honest with all of my subscribers. Um, I try to always be that way with everyone. I really cherish that with other YouTubers, um, so I try to be that way with all of you. Um, but yes... I do have channel memberships. If you are interested, um, go ahead and become a channel member. I am going to be getting back into vlogs fairly soon. I, I don't know exactly when. Um, the lowest here is only a dollar. It does help the channel out a little bit. Um, I used to do weekly vlogs. I really do want to get back into that. I just cannot promise that right now, but it will help me with like future giveaways and stuff like that for the channel. Um, I do like to do giveaways during um, the weekly lives, which I am going to be starting that back up next week, I'm hoping. 
Um, and then also member lives. I'm going to try to start that again in October. <sighs> After I just said, I don't know what's coming next. <laughs> I'm going to try to start doing these things again. Um, I just... This was the first step, was doing a whip and chat. So I hope you enjoyed this, even though it was a little bit different and it was a little bit difficult for me to talk about. Um, but I hope you stuck around and I hope you have a good rest of your Thursday and I hope you have a good weekend. So I will see you next week.